All right, welcome back. Uh, again, another cost of capital problem where we have to find out the weighted average cost of capital, WECC, using both book value and market value weights. Let's read the problem together. C Limited has the following capital structure. You have equity capital, 10% preference capital, and 8% debenture capital. All right, and the book value of each is given. So, uh, so this is 10 rupees per share. This is 100, 100 rupees per preference share and 100 rupees per debenture. All these securities are traded in the capital market. There is a rise in the prices of the securities as under. So debenture has risen from 100 to 110. This, so there's a market price. Preference shares from 100 to 120 and equity shares from 10 to 22 rupees. Anticipated external financing opportunities are number one, debentures are redeemable at par at the end of 20 years. Flotation costs are 4% and the sale price is 100. Preference shares are redeemable at par at the end of 15 years. Flotation costs are 5% and the sale price is 100. Equity shares have the sale value of 22 and the flotation cost is 2 rupees per share. The next expected dividend on equity share is 2 rupees per share. Anticipated growth rate of dividend is 5%. Tax rate is 50. Calculate the WACC using both book value and market value weights. All right. So first thing is find out, first thing first, find out the cost of these individual, you know, capital. So find out the cost of equity capital, find out the cost of preference capital, find out the cost of debenture capital or cost of debt. All right. First is solution. find out what is the, the first source equity capital. So we have to find out KE, so cost of equity. Now what method are we going to use? See, since the anticipated, the expected dividend per share is given, and as well as the growth rate, all right, as well as the market price per share. So we will use the dividend plus growth approach, which is KE is equal to expected dividend per share divided by market price per share okay into 100 plus the growth rate so div is 2 rupees market price per share is 22 rupees however see it's given here flotation cost is 2 rupees so we have to deduct flotation cost from the market price per share all right and into 100 plus the growth rate. What is the growth rate here? Growth rate is given 5%. 5%. So, therefore, KE is equal to, all right, uh, this will be uh, 15. 15 into 100 plus 1,500. So, we have found out KE. Now, next is, let's find out cost of preference capital. KP, all right. Now, we go, since this is redeemable at the end of 15 years, we're going to use DIV dividend plus redemption price minus net issue price divided by the life of the debenture. The whole thing divided by RP plus IP divided by 2. So, DIV is DIV given. Now, yes. So, 10% is the rate of dividend. 10% on what? 10% on the face value. So, 10% of 100 is 10. Plus, what is the redemption price? It says here that preference shares are redeemable at par. That means the redemption price is 100. Redeemable at par at the face value. Now, what is the net issue price? Net issue price is Flotation costs are 5% and the sale price is 100. All right, so flotation cost is 5% of 100 of the book value. Or I mean the face value. 5% of 100 is 5 rupees. All right, and the sale price is 100. So we have to take away 5 rupees from here. That means the net issue price will be 95. Divided by the life of the debenture. Oh, I mean the preference shares. 
Preference shares are redeemable at par at the end of 15 years. So 15. All right. And RP is 100 plus 95 divided by 2. So finally, you'll get uh, 10.33 divided by 97.5. By the way, this will be 100, okay? 100 into 100 is equal to 10.59. So there we have it. We found out KP. Next is let's find out KD. Now that is cost of debenture. Now debenture are redeemable at par at the end of 20 years. Flotation cost of 4% and the sale price is 100. So what is KD? KD is nothing but interest into 1 minus tax rate. All right. Plus RP. Redemption price minus IP, net issue price, divided by the life of the debenture. And whole thing, divided by RP plus IP, divided by 2. Alright, so what is interest here? Interest is 8%. 8% on the face value. So 8% on face value is 8 rupees into 1 minus tax. What is the tax rate? Where is the tax rate? Yeah, there it is, 50%. So 0 0.5 plus RP. What is RP? Redemption price. It says here that debentures are redeemable at par. Now, what is the face value? It's 100. So redemption price is 100. What is the net issue price? See, flotation cost are 4%. And the sale price is 100. So take away 4% from the face value. So 4% of 100 from 100 is what? 4% from 100 is 4 rupees. So, 100 minus 4 will give you 96. You get 96. All right. Divided by the life. Now, debentures are redeemable at par at the end of 20 years. So, maturity period is 20 years. All right. Into 100. Okay. So, 100, 100 plus 96 divided by 2. So finally, you get 4.2 divided by 98 into 100. So the cost of debt or cost of debenture will be 4.9%. There, we found, we found out KE, KP and finally KD. Now, let us compute the WACC using book value weights first. All right, now computation of WACC using book value weights. You have the source amount after tax cost. and total cost. All right. So the first one source is equity capital. Now, since we're using book value weights, the amount will remain the same. It will be the number of equity shares into the book value of each share. So that is 10 lakhs. And even with preference capital also, preference capital, since we are using book value weights, again, it will remain the same, 2 lakhs. Same thing for debenture capital, it will remain the same at 8 lakhs. All right. And what is the after-tax cost? Cost of equity, we have found out 15%. Then cost of preference capital is 10.59%. 
and cause of death or debenture is 4.29 percent all right okay so find out what is 15 percent of 10 lakhs it'll be 1 lakh 50 thousand then 10.59 percent of 2 lakhs it'll be 21,180 and 4.29% of 8 lakhs is 34,320. So add this, this will be 2 lakh, uh, tw sorry, 20 lakhs or 2 million and this will be 1 lakh 50 plus 21, 180 plus 34, 320. That will be 2 lakhs 5,500. Now, what is WACC? KO is equal to 2 lakhs 5,500 divided by 20 lakhs or 2 million in 200. And that is 10.28%. All right. 10.28 percent so we have found out WACC using book value weights now we have to find out for the same problem now let's find out what is WACC using market value weights all right now So, source, amount, after tax, cost, and total cost. So, find out equity capital. All right, by the way, I have to write here, WACC, using market value. weights all right so market capital or equ sorry equity capital now we are not going to f use the book value we are going to use the market value 22 so what is the number of equity shares uh, 10 lakhs divided by 10 so is 1 lakh so 1 lakh 1 lakh shares into the market value per share 22 so that will be 22 lakhs all right after tax costs will remain the same as we have found out okay 15 percent the cost of equity is 15 percent now next is preference capital i'll just write preference pref preference capital uh, how many shares are there? So, 2 lakh is the preference capital. 100 rupees is the uh, book value per share, uh, per preference share. So, 2 lakhs divided by, by uh, 100 will be uh, 2,000 preference shares. So, 2,000 preference shares into 100 and... 20 okay so that will be 2 lakhs 40,000 now again the after tax cost will remain the same KP is 10.59 so after tax cost is 10.59 and finally debentures now what is how many debentures are there 8 lakhs divided by 100 so you have 8,000 so, 8,000 debentures into the market value, which is 110. So, that is 8 lakhs, 80,000. Again, the after tax cost of debt debenture will remain the same, 4.29%. 4 4 so, what is the amount 
it'll be 33 lakhs 20 thousand and 15 percent of this is 3 lakhs 30 thousand 10.59 percent of 2 lakhs 40 it'll be 25,416, 4.29 percent on 8 lakhs 80 is 37, uh, 752. All right, so add all this. This will be 3 lakhs 93, 168. So finally, WACC using market value weights is 3 lakhs. 93168 divided by 33 lakhs 20,000 into 100 it's equal to 11.84 percent all right so there we have it okay we have found out what is the ma you know what is the market value and we found out what is the WACC using book value as well as WACC using market value. All right.